Hello, and welcome to another episode of BGM and Dead Space, everyone. Mwah. Space. Mwah. All to space. Oh, oh look. Those you don't have a clearance. No. <laughs> I just have crappy level one clearance. I only have level three. Sage. Gosh. How could you? It's like... How could you have, you know, clearance on, even though, you know, even though the, the ship's under attack and freaking everything's on lockdown and, oh, hey, Hammond. Whoa, oh, hey. Sorry. Shoot, hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. That rifle close. Set. No, keep the rifle close. I mean, it's a trap right here. I look great with that zombie. I'm not seeing things, right? That's true. <laughs> You're right. I should. The hell with it. Ammon, it's well, the first minute the of the episode. You can't swear. I worked with him for years. Johnston, oh, too. Well. At least she was spared becoming a monster. I just passed the first minute. You're good, Hammond. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Come on. The ADS can. I was like, yeah, why are we wasting time here? We got we got to get those ADSs on. They just airlocked die. his friend that transformed into a yep. space zombie. War crimes! Yay! <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure airlocking is a war crime. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they counted it for uh, Star Wars, so... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't fought many battles in space. And by many, I mean any. <laughs> All I can tell is the Same. power route shot. <laughs> Same. I just I just watched a video like because I I've seen a few videos of uh of a dude going through all of Star Wars like not just the movies but also like the the animated stuff and being like counting every single war crime that is committed. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I don't know about any. There's a lot of them, and this, it's actually surprising how many the Republic does. Um, <laughs> the Republic does. A, does quite a few war crimes. Sure, not as much as the uh, the CIS, but shit like that's above my pay. There's still more than you would think. You can turn the atrium elevators back on from security. You'll have full access. Yeah, the Republic likes to do perfidy a lot. I'll upgrade your clearance. Upgrade my clearance. Yeah, just in case. Your clearance is going to be upgraded. I heard something up there. Something big. Oh, watch your back. Sorry, that was my ginormous penis. <laughs> my enormous penis. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, Hammond. That, that's what you heard up there. My me dragging penis. it along the ground. <laughs> and my travels just melted away. <laughs> A couple of checks low. <laughs> like, like friggin' like... Like freaking, you're trying to talk to 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 uh, what's his name here, uh, Isaac? <laughs> trying to talk to Isaac while he's got his helmet on. He just goes, "Wait, what? Sorry, I was listening to something." And you're like, "What were you listening to?" <laughs> freaking my enormous beat. This is my. <laughs> hey, it was security clearance level two now. Let's go. Level two. The blue card. I don't know. I don't know what color it is. <laughs> Why blue? For all I know, it could be green. Or yellow. Could be. No, I think usually two is red. I can't remember. For games. That dude, the card thing. Save my game! Save my game, please. I wanna please. save my game. My game. Take a look at my enormous. <laughs> Sorry, you now got that stuck in my head. <laughs> I didn't even oh, listen to the weird. song and you got it stuck in my head. No! Oh. Oh. No. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy! Hey! I'm sorry, I don't have any McDonald's for you. 
I know I said Taco Bell last time, but you know. Oh, so that's what you gotta do? I would have never figured that out, by the way. I just supposed to shoot his butt in the back. Oh, hey. He's dead already. I didn't Again, expect him to die so quickly. Same. Are you I gonna shoot him for the front? Same. But it's gonna take forever because he's heavily armored up there. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I, I would have taken me forever because I would have never figured out it's better to shoot him from behind. I would have never figured that out. Well, eventually he like hunkers down and like puts his arms in front of him to like shield him. And oh. so now you just, at that point, you just it kind of gives away that you need to get behind him. <laughs> you just take the short route and be like, Stasis, I'm shooting you from the butt. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah. It's like the equivalent of the freaking a whole bunch of them show up and Isaac's just like, well, fuck it, pulls out chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Here's my chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> my chainsaw don't have a chain on it. <laughs> it's telekinetic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, I want to start using that. Okay. It's what I got the most ammo for. Oh, yay, health packs. Health. Health. It's on the record, Doctor. This is mutiny. Deliver to the church, whatever the cost. God's sakes, Ben, listen to yourself. The issue morals in crisis, you've cut us off. By Maritime Law, Article 5469, I, Dr. Terrence Kine, hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. Heretic! Hold him. Ben, you're not yourself. Let me help you. Traitors, get your hands off me! This is my shit! Uh. God, he's... You... Ben... You saw I was trying to help him. Doctor, you... You just killed the captain. We have to take you in. You can't. But the others from the church get a hold of me. Stop! Yay, religious zealotry! This is why we shouldn't have it. But you know, we do. Because <laughs> religious... A little zealotry never hurt anybody. <laughs> I think the clip we just watched proves otherwise. <laughs> uh, the, the, the zealot didn't hurt anyone. It was the, the other guy stabbed him in the eye with the syringe. Which is actually kind of impressive that he killed the captain that way. Like, yeah, you can do it, but like... You have to go through the entirety of the eye and into the brain to do that. Did you see that needle in that thing? I did not. <laughs> it was so small. I. It would have to be a very long needle. Yeah, that's that's basically yeah, what I'm trying it, to do. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was one hell of a syringe. Surprising, as we, uh, yeah, just just surprising that you'd need a that long of a syringe. <laughs> <laughs> Black. It's kind of creepy to sit in here in the silence. You just hear like the ripper rotating, jingling around in there. <laughs> yeah, amazing that it's got the power to do that. I'm just constantly spinning. <laughs> I'm constantly ready to fire. Oh god! And then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. To the very next day. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> Got any grapes? <laughs> no. Don't mind if I do. Got some ammo for that. Reload that real quick. The sound design on this game is just so good. Dude, I'm loving it. Every bit of it. Ugh. I'm, like, I'm like half afraid to talk because the sound 
So it sounded so good. It, they do a really good job of like building atmosphere. Sixty-year-old dead plane doesn't play well with power surges. Watch your step. He's not oh. wrong. <gasps> yeah. Contact beam? What the frick is this thing? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Beam, beam, beam. Beam, beam, beam. And get the fuck out of here, Pulse Rifle. No one likes you, Pulse Rifle. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, no one likes you. <laughs> So the contact beam has always been like the strongest, one of the strongest and most fun weapons to use in the game. Hmm. It has always been my favorite since the first one. The first one, it was so strong, like ammo for it was exceedingly rare. Here we go. Oh, what kind of tool is this? Contact beam. Like, what did they use this thing for? Yeah. Uh, contact him. Oh, uh, it made contact for, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, it made contact. Oh, I know. It made contact, for sure. There is no doubt about that. <laughs> this thing is awesome. So, like, the alternate fire light charges up and fires a shot and uh, they kind of like blow up and the first one is just a beam. In the original games, the alt fire was the primary fire and the secondary fire, you like shoved it in the ground and like shot out a shockwave all around you. It's really good for when you got surrounded and it just one shot everything else with the primary fire. There was even an upgrade for like the alt fire that could add stasis to it. So you would like AOE shockwave around you, deal damage, and then stasis them so then you could then pick them off one by one. Hell it's yes. so good. Oh, oh. I love like it. Like I said, ammo weapon. for it was really rare. <laughs> I got a little bit better love, with it I in like the second one. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, again, that's just like stupidly overpowered, like freaking BFG 9000. Pretty game. much. It's this game's BFG. <laughs> Right, in the first game, really ammo do. was rare. You, the stacks <laughs> of ammo were like really small. Can, can we also just talk about how like so creative the word BFG is? <laughs> Big fucking gun. <laughs> Big fucking gun. <laughs> Very creative. Good, good job, developers. Very creative. But at the same time, I also don't blame them. <laughs> I mean, it's with what fitting. that gun does. With what that gun does and how big it is. It's an, it's an yeah, apt name. It's, it's an apt name. <laughs> the BFG 9000. And of course, you also got you also give credit to the BFG 10,000. Yes. Which uses the 9000. <laughs> and then amplifies it to uh, basically destroy entire planets. <laughs> you can't blow a hole into the surface of Mars. Watch me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me, bitch. <laughs> Gosh. Doom Eternal is great. Anyway, sorry. I should have wait waited. This, this game is great. This game is great. Probably. But hey, you did pick up a new note. I saw that. It was good. Smash. But, uh... Yeah. The capacity nodes, uh, when you put a point into those, like it actually re refills your ammo. So I should have waited to oh. use up the ammo and empty it out. So it would have refilled it. Probably, because, you know, free ammo is always nice to have. Yeah. Gotta love the free ammo. Even if it's not how ammo works. <laughs> Smash. Come on, make sure they're dead. Curb stop them. I want my loot. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just like, I want loot. And you know what, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that loot is always good. Um, <laughs> for me, it's more of a, I just want it dead. Please, don't come back. <laughs> oh, there's that, don't too. Come back. 
<laughs> there is that too. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that's not a factor. <laughs> see, 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 for Taco, for Taco, the ta for Taco, Taco would do it for 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 the second reason, with the, the bonus being loot. <laughs> and you, yours is the opposite. You do it for the loot. <laughs> yeah. The bonus of they're not coming back. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> got an update. Power diverted from Mining Administration Network. That's one. We still need more power. A couple more systems should do it. But hey, at least we're not gonna immediately die. <laughs> right? Right? Right. I was like, you're ready for something to pop out. <laughs> Rip and tear, baby. Rip and tear. I got my contact beam, baby. I ain't scared of nothing. Gosh, with how unstable that thing sounds and looks. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I was gonna say, that dragon over. The thing looks amazingly unstable. Oh, yeah. And I love it. Should have saw his legs off. Take the kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Take the kneecaps, baby. <laughs> oh no, I'm already, out of, I'm already out of ammo for it, yo. Because it's too good, dude. It's too good. It is. Enter that vacuum, baby. Exiting vacuum. Didn't save my game. But yeah, that's why I should have waited before putting that capacity note on there. And I would have gotten free ammo. Oh well. Uh, you know, four one. Go back up there real quick. Yeah! Side up! <laughs> Get oh, cut, bitch! Oh, cut quick time of time. Nice cutting. <laughs> Anybody else want some? <laughs> Clearance confirmed. Still in people's lunch boxes now. <laughs> that would yeah. be so that would be so funny. You open the lunch the lockers and you're just like Why are there lunch boxes? Oh <laughs> Why is there a lunch box? Oh <laughs> oh, or you open it? It's just a bunch of like clothes. I guess that would be in the court, like the troop quarters. But <laughs> do 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 do. Give me the contact beam upgrade. You know what? I'll take a note while I'm here too. Why not? Just like get some note, baby. Just get some notes. You know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want the upgrades too.
There, there's another capacity though. Got some ammo for it now. Uh... Yay! Look at the nodes, baby, for the plasma quarter. Hell yeah. You fill that ammo anyway. <laughs> Yeah. See? Full ammo now. When I had none. Full ammo. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Little tip Look, for just... uh, those hardcore playthroughs. <laughs> Rip. Rip those hardcore players. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially Respect. in this game, because like, the hardest difficulty, like, you get three saves. That's all you Oof. get. When you die, you go back to your last save. Oof. Major oof. Actually, in this one, you may not be able to die at all. I don't like that scream. Well, I'm gonna just go back up. Should I say Just like, um, I know. I don't know what's going on down here, but I don't yeah. need to know. <laughs> that, that, that sounded like a whole lot of no. Sounds like I don't want to be here, and I don't Ooh. want to solve that problem. Someone else can solve that problem. <laughs> That's somebody else's problem. That's not my problem. I'm getting laggy. Just getting laggy. Sorry. I just had a lag spike. Oh, that was you? Okay, it was like... It got laggy for me, and I was like, what, what's going on? I, Internet, no, please I had, like a, I had like a quick lag spike. Shooting through windows is fun. <laughs> Especially when it opens loot room doors. Level 3 security clearance required. Rip. Contact Rip beam energy. Contact energy. Always need those. Stay oh, weapon charge. upgrade. For the pulse rifle. Pulse rifle upgrade. But... You know, that we don't care about, but you know. You know, it's... pulse rifle's there in case we. It's like, pulse rifle's only there when we run out of ammo for literally everything else. <laughs> literally everything else. <laughs> well, I put the pulse rifle up. I got rid of it. I know. Because, uh... Hi. Oh. Well, need to call the Inquisition. We have some heresy on board. Huh. Must be the marker they dug up. So it is the same. That marker. That's the symbol of the Church of Unitology. It didn't take you for a believer, Isaac. My mother was. But if they found this on some alien planet, what does that mean? That Unitology's on to Human stupid. Human stupid. <laughs> 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 Isaac, Human's just stupid. Is shit. <laughs> He's not wrong. United we ascend? Is Unitology Religion. a new hope or just another scam? By Carrie Van Otken. If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a you following of millions. Crusades. Even bigger. <laughs> Counts powerful CEOs and officials in his ranks, claims $78 billion of stock in multi global companies and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions, GPSG Financial and Unitas Energy Investments. From its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a respected geo geophysicist, blew the whistle on what he claimed to be the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an ancient or of an artifact or marker which proved beyond any doubt there is alien life in the universe the government labeled altman a kook but his claims stuck struck a chord with some and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest along with civil unrest and demands for action 
Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for no themselves. Shit. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are rank in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer, or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money's banned? The church also requires their members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they want with them? Nobody will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed with their emphasis on transformation and rebirth. Maybe we wouldn't like the answer, even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program some claim to have seen the fleet no document carry evidence has ever been supplied but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships despite their huge size continued on page 94 okay i was so con but, but i want to keep reading yeah the, the lore of this game's sounds... pretty deep I was going to say, though, freaking, it sounds like like religion is so easily, can so easily become horror. It's kind of funny. They're like, some of the best horror is actually religion. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, though, freaking dead. Are their sleep, may the holy fleet endure and beyond the reach of our enemies. May the bre brethren make them whole. For our fleet and its sacred cargo, glory everlasting. For those who disturb their stasis, blessed death will be denied them. Praise be the markers and Altman, their eternal prophet. Dear God! <laughs> so these kooks have sabotaged the entire ship. Great. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's basically what I got if, out of it. And... Uh, if anybody didn't know, uh, this this is code here on the ground. Uh, you start up here with the marker symbol, and then you work your way around clockwise. And, yeah, that's what got me that uh, text log. There's two other codes in the game? Oh. Interesting. But anyways, yeah. Freaking. remember frickin'. where the... <laughs> Freaking um, man. I remember where one is. Um. I don't. I don't think I ever found. He's trying to remember the codes, guys. He's trying to remember the codes. Oh, there you go. No! Two of them. Dragono doing magic, guys. <clears throat> doing that powerful magics. This is the best one.
Pokemon, we believe in the we believe in the Dragon O. Also, the religion sounds very close to freaking um to uh what's it called? Um Mm. It's a 40k thing. <laughs> Gene Stiller Colts. figure this out then we come back to, to VGM when you figure this out. Because uh, it is time. <laughs> all right. And next time on VGM everybody. All right, bye. Bye everyone. <laughs>